Hello friends, this is senior to junior. So we'll continue our lecture series on internal combustion engine. So this is lecture four of that series. Those who are new to the channel, I would request them to please go back and watch our previous three lectures. It will give you a clear concept, and this and it will help you to understand this lecture as well. So this lecture will be a disadvantage of two-stroke engine. This will be presented by us senior to junior. So let's see what are the disadvantages of two-stroke engine. First of all, uh, there are three disadvantages, mainly three disadvantages. Disadvantage. There may be more disadvantages, but we have taken the three important disadvantages. First one is your charge dilution, second one is your short circuiting, and third one is your noise. So we are going to see this one by one in the coming slides. What are um, these uh, three things? And after uh, Understanding these three things, you will get to know that why two-stroke engines are not in production line nowadays. They have been totally banned in somewhere 90s only. So let's see what are these uh, charge dilution, short circuiting, and noise. See, charge dilution is the uh, phenomena in which. Uh, see, uh, before uh, telling you the charge dilution phenomena, let me tell you the term uh, scavenging. You might not be familiar with this term scavenging. So what is scavenging? Scavenging is a process in which the fresh charge removes the exhaust product that is gases from the cylinder. That means the fresh charge comes from here and it pushes the exhaust gases out of the cylinder. So this phenomenon is known as scavenging. So why does the charge dilution happens? Charge dilution basically happens due to poor scavenging. Poor scavenging means that your, your charge will be your the burnt charge will be here and the fresh charge will come here due to poor scavenging this will not force your fresh charge will not force the burnt charge to come out of the cylinder and this will get accumulated so after some time you will see that your exhaust charge and your fresh charge are accumulated in the cylinder so this will become very much difficult for a spark plug in case of a petrol engine to burn it so to burn it we need a rich mixer that is you need to supply more fuel to this zone the zone of air and fuel and your exhaust mixer to burn it so basically you need a rich mixer to burn it the mixer range can be in term in for pet your petrol engine it will be 12 is to 1 so what is 12 what is this 12 and what is this one 12 is to 1 is your air to fuel ratio means 1 kg of fuel required 12 kg of air to burn it. This is your, this is very much a rich mixer and your standard mixer that is stoichiometry is your 14.7 is to 1 year. The standard is 14.7 is to 1. So compared to this it is a rich mixer and you need to supply a rich mixer so that uh, these parts get burned. And this is an important demerit because your lot of fuel is wasted. Because to burn this part which is not being even of it is of less important and you need to have more fuel to burn this part so that you get a power and your piston comes down so this is a um, problem in which your fuel is basically wasted and this is a charge dilution problem the next one is your short circuiting so what is short circuiting short circuiting is a phenomena in which your this fresh charge without participating in your combustion process without doing any work without partic even participating and mixing in the combustion chamber just goes out that means it is a total wastage of fuel means without doing any work it comes out you can see this fresh mixture indicated with this green color and your exhaust with this pink one that these two are separate and this your fresh mixture just goes out of the cylinder without being utilized without being unutilized and comes as a smoke with a black color and particulate matter in case of a diesel engine and this causes a lot of pollution also pollution plus your uh, your wastage of fuel and also the efficiencies decrease very much because more of the fuel will go out just doing any work so this is a serious problem and the most important problem among this charge dilution and short circuiting also this is an important problem the next one is your noise what is noise and how it is causes in two stroke engine before your piston comes to BDC your valve gets opened and as you know that inside cylinder a huge pressure is there and outside atmos outside cylinder your atmospheric pressure is there so when sudden difference when sudden huge difference is there and it suddenly gets a small opening a, a, like a blast kind of noise takes place 
explosion or a blast kind of noise takes place which causes creates noise so what is this uh, how it is caused as i told you that high noise as a exhaust port is open much before the bdc means before reaching bdc only this port gets open and your and your such huge pressure gases comes to the atmospheric and makes a noise so this is a three disadvantage of your uh, two stroke engine i hope you get a clear picture on this so what is a present scenario india china japan and there are many more countries that has banned the production of two stroke engine in 90s as far as i remember this uh, this scooter is a bajaj chetak scooter that has been banned in 1906 i when i was a childhood uh, in one when i was in my age that i have seen this scooter and now it is totally demolished because of these three reasons as i have told you the short circuiting charge dilution and your noise so presently there are no two stroke engine production japan has banned somewhere in 70s i guess and india china 90s they have banned so there is no more production of two stroke engine basically because of the three disadvantages and this concludes our lecture on disadvantage of two stroke engine hope you like it and um, please subscribe to our channel so that you get a regular updates the next channel the next Uh, video will be a important one because this uh, questions has been regularly asked in your interview uh, from the many core companies i will discuss some important terminologies of two stroke engine that is your delivery ratio scavenging efficiency trapping efficiency these are the frequent term that you will be using in our subsequent lecture and these are the important questions for your interview and this lecture is a one of the most important lecture because this question has been asked to many of my friends what are the important demerits of two stroke engine and you need to be very specific while answering like short circuiting your charge dilution and noise and you need to explain this with a bold explanation so this concludes our lecture thank you for watching and please subscribe to cinetro junior thanks